September 30th, 2019. As you're looking at the National Weather Service map, and a few days ago we did a video talking about this extreme cold weather coming up into the northwest, and it was coming in a little early and could break some snow uh, fall records, things like that. This is the current National Weather Service map. This dark violet color here, the dark purple, you've got freeze warnings. These are not watches, they're warnings. You've got uh, other warnings in the area, and what's happening is we've even been getting a stronger breeze here in the south pulling from the gulf of mexico north as it's trying this front is lifting out but uh, winter weather advisories along in california there you got frost advisories in california and uh, in washington check this out you've got uh, again in your red flag warnings are that is that bright pink guys and that's telling you don't burn uh, high winds drought conditions low humidity you even have a flash flood warnings on this map. One very small area, but we the weather is strange, and scientists are starting to realize the importance of uh, our shields and going into grand solar minimum. We'll talk about that a little more. Again, flash flood watches all the way up here, in which you've got a large front coming across. Now, why are you getting those uh, flood uh, flash flood watches in New Mexico and Texas, guys? You've got, because we have a very strong uh, tropical system that is off the coast of Mexico. Check out the bottom left corner of the screen. That's going to be pumping moisture up into your area. So, the, and again, right now it's just a watch. But a lot of these places, especially I know in Texas, need some rain. Maybe not the Houston-Galveston area. But a lot of people were really uh, hoping to get some rain in the in that last tropical system. But uh, again, this thing is going to be moving slow, and uh, it's going to be kicking a lot of moisture your way. Everything's moving from the bottom left of the screen to the top right. That's we got that dip in the jet stream and the Arctic vortex is very strange. It has been for the last few years, and this is why. 2019 is a deep solar minimum. This is today on Space Weather. It says today the sun r racked up its 198th spotless day of the year. So far in 2019, the sun has been blank 73% of the time. This is the same percentage of the year 2008, previously the last sun spotty or least sun spotty year of the space age. Think about that. If solar minimum continues to deepen, 2019 will soon claim the undisputed throne of space age spotlessness, making it as a century class minimum in solar activity. Very important last sentence. Solar minimums, in the solar cycles, excuse me, are 11.8 years. Here's what they're talking about. In 20, excuse me, 2008, there were 260 days without a sunspot. These solar minimums and maximums are measured, or one of the measurements is in how many sunspots that occur. If you notice in the center of the screen, you've got 2012, 2013, and 2015 with zero days. There were spots every day, and we were getting solar flares, coronal mass ejections, filament releases, coronal holes, name it. It was happening. Now, last year, 221 days but we're not through with this year. That's only, you're looking at 23 days, 24 days to break that record. So what are we saying? 2008, 73% of the days had no sunspots. It was solar minimum. So look at the, the uh, change in this graph. More than likely, we have one more year, which would be 2020. If you'll look at 2009, 260 days spotless. In other words, from the peak at 73% in 2008, it did not jump right back into a solar maximum climate. It took another year, and then suddenly in 2010, you had 14% of days that had no spots, or only 51 days. So quickly, after 2008 and 2009, we went back into solar maximum. And you're looking at this cycle. Again, this 11.8-year cycle of the sunspots mat, uh, matches the sun's binary twin the orbit of Jupiter. I've talked about this many times. But anyway, current temperatures in the U.S., and you can see the, the difference here. It's like politics, red and blue, northwest, blue, 
and you're dealing with temperatures 24 degrees kind of the coldest uh, area on this map if you switch that to the wind chill factors in the areas you can see it's cool again you're in higher elevations you guys are used to some cooler weather but this is coming strong and it's coming early what did they say this would be a century class solar minimum i've been talking about this winter's coming on guys for you folks in great britain good in the uk there guys in ireland the storm has weakened faster than expected this is lorenzo it's down to 105 mile an hour cat 2 and it's the uh, model is showing it miss a direct hit on the islands now that depends on where inside this white cone that the center of circulation travels okay if it's in the bottom part of it you're going to have a more direct impact on the islands but starting at 8 a.m thursday think about this now this is uh eastern time guys so you guys in the uk the azores go into your time zone and look at this but 8 a.m thursday the storm's going to be offshore by 8 a.m friday it's going to be either coming very close to shore or offshore enough to where you're really getting tropical storm force winds so just pay attention to that guys we're watching it also i've got to uh, say this you've got four more days to get the 20 percent off store wide at uh, of all, all of our survival food supplies and the alexa pure water filter that puts that $200 system down to shipped at checkout 151 but guys there's six month and one year food supplies that are there that have uh, 10 20 30 year shelf life some and it's excellent food it's not just MREs that's not what I'm talking about come to our site and check it out but when you put 20% to those type purchases it means hundreds of dollars and don't forget 12 month interest free financing take advantage of it guys be prepared don't get caught off guard the uh don't think we're not watching uh, what's going on in dc believe me all that i saw was a clearing house because no one could beat the person in charge so they're going to put a new candidate in and i think you know who she is it was all about taking out uh, one of the candidates and then getting out of town for a couple of weeks clearing the way watch out it's a heads up be safe